Thank okay. you as always for coming in. We're going to move I, these to the side. But this is Anthony with geez. the worst loss of the year and Tyvis with the best overtime oh. of the year. Nice. Thank okay. You. What's up, everybody? It's Anthony Thanks. from UCSS. Today we're doing the worst loss of the year nominations. Up first, we have the Cavs going out in game three against the Knicks, only scoring 70 points. Number two, we have the Jets pulling off the improbable comeback in the home opener against the Browns. And number three, we have the Guardians offense completely disappearing in Game 5 of the ALDS against the New York Yankees. And our winner, without a doubt, is the improbable comeback from the New York Jets. So Mikey McNuggets, let's move on so we don't have to remember this. Hello everybody, my name is Tybus Powell and it is my honor and pleasure to present this year's Best Overtime Segment Award. The nominees are yours truly, imitating Earl's auntie, you know, when she had the uh, basketball, you, never mind, you, you had to be there. That, I'm not even going to go into details because it's bad. My aunt has an older aunt has on one of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show shirts. Which I love, your aunt yeah. wore to Thanksgiving I'm, dinner. I'm proud of my baby, he's doing something with his life. <laughs> but I can't help with I the love notice. your grandma already, or your auntie already, without even knowing her. Jay's I'm face is like all in her it. titty, man. <laughs> <laughs> so my old face yo, is all it's over just, it's, just, it's all over auntie she's, she's just making a mac and cheese and she's just <laughs> and you're looking at it going this is really cool to me out right now old jay on my aunt's chest that ain't even cool man that ain't even cool two director steve fuzzy animal comments that he made which was some of the wildest things I've ever heard. Well, it is true that I work for Sports Channel Ohio, but it's completely false that I was slider. I've never been inside a furry animal. No, let's do it. No, 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 delete, 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 no, that's no, 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 no. And three, Jason absolutely ripping Giannis for his failures. I love Giannis. You, it is a failure, dude. You were a one seed. You're Giannis Antetokounmpo. We got Tyvis on the show trying to tell Taping. us that you're the best to ever play. Taping. And you oh, go yeah. out in the Where's first Tyvis round to at? an eight seed. It's a failure. I don't care about last year. I don't care whatever quest you got hung up on last year. It is a failure that you are a one seed and you're an MVP and you can't beat the friggin' Heat in the first round at home and you go out like that. It's a failure. And the winner is... <laughs> Jason ripping Giannis. First of all, Jason, it was uh first Gian, you need to give Giannis a little bit of privilege or some slack there. It wasn't all bad. It was the season of failure, absolutely, but he has some good points in there. But the, the award goes to you, man. Congratulations, Jason, for what you did. I thought mine was it was better with Earl, but that's neither here nor there. I feel like I got robbed, to be honest with you. Shout out to us for having the one-year show, man. One year down and a lifetime to go with you guys, man. Coming in every Wednesday or any day that I can has been a true blessing. I love y'all, man. Let's keep going. Let's take this thing to the top. Nice. All I right. just I just love that. Tyvis had to give it out an award about Giannis choking. Yeah, that's, yeah <laughs> right. That made that, right, that is you're, funny. You're welcome. Best. You're welcome. Yeah, that Good wasn't money. that wasn't an accident. By the way, these not. awesome tires that Matt gave us, these end table tires, they light up red. We plugged it in. Bro. We're gonna set them up here. Go, you know, after we, we today. Get yeah, set they're up. beautiful. Them is crazy. They're absolutely that is beautiful. really cool. Yeah. So it, where it says "Call It Racing" lights up red when we plug it in. Yeah, it's they will really be cool. with us. Hopefully, starting tomorrow, we will yeah. we will incorporate them into the set. That was a super nice gift. Matt is the best. His yeah. whole team's awesome. Kimmy, the PR team, his uh, his video guys that come with them. That whole organization is run top notch. And you can see your favorite golf legends play in the Call of Companies Championship, July twelfth through the sixteenth at the famous Firestone Country Club. It is fun, family friendly events mm -hmm. all week long, featuring a new fan zone experience, free attendance for kids, and concerts every night. There is something for everyone. I promise. You can learn more at Colleg Golf. Com. You said July 12th through the 16th? Is July 12th said? through the 16th. Nice. Correct. Good. Good. So. Good. Good. All right, Mike. Well, now we got to get to the top five. You know, top five was something earlier days of the show we were doing every day. In recent, in recent months, we don't do it as consistently, but often it's been a very funny segment. In fact, it was referenced in our awards 
with Joe Thomas winning the award for best guest, that segment we did top five cheeses. And now you have a top five that you haven't even told us really about. No, you know, it's been a pleasure to work with you guys for a year. And when you start a relationship, a work relationship, you got to learn your boundaries. So these are things that after a year of working with you, I finally have the courage to say to you guys. These are things I've wanted to say for a year, and hmm. now I'm going to say on air. Okay. You sure you want to go there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm ready. Love it. Uh. Number five, when I say next topic, please shut the F up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike, no. Wait, you said that to us already. Yeah, yeah, already. yeah like. How is that like something new? Well, hopefully this means you'll listen. Okay. No, we won't. Number four. During ad reads, please shut the ass up. Yes. <laughs> Call out the biggest culprits of that. <laughs> Somehow I hope all five include <laughs> yeah, shut, shut the, the F up. up. Yeah. Number three, Bull, I love you, buddy. But please sometimes <laughs> shut the <laughs> <this> up. <laughs> I see a trend forming here. Yeah, I think they're all going to have that. Oh, that in it. man, Mike. I thought two, we had something special, you and me. Two, <laughs> Jay, I love you too, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I not number one? I can't one? believe that's number one. I can't believe it's not number one either. You, that's a swing and a miss. This one better be um, really good. Number one, and it's true, I love you guys. It's been awesome. Oh, 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 I really do. Like people, yeah, that's a and, good and one. Earl and Anthony, and you guys are all included. Director Steve, <laughs> EP Steve, everyone, Brad, who's not here. Uh, it has been an absolute honor and pleasure work with you guys over the last. It's been a year now. For the last year, it's been it's been awesome. You guys drive me crazy sometimes. Literally batshit crazy sometimes. Yeah. I do. At the end of the day, I genuinely love you guys, and generally love you guys as bulls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, all right, generally. I gotta take ten seconds though, Mikey, because. This show would not happen without him. And Jay has said that yeah. before. Yep. He said it after shows and us with meetings. Mike holds this whole thing together, man. And the hours that he puts in and the rundowns he comes up with and the way that he keeps this moving and the way that he's got four hands back there. Mike is the MVP of the show, people. Yeah. yeah. And, and as we mentioned totally before, he was, he, he, he's nominated for an Emmy. Or did he win? He's nominated for an Emmy. I don't know why anybody else would win. Mike does an incredible job. He's what new category, to Cleveland, Mike, but he's what, what going to be a star. Uh, best live sports producer. Who yeah, else is nominated? Win. Is the it guy from Bally's? Yeah. So what are they, they doing? Well, they do a lot. They do pregame and postgame. They do a lot over there. What are they doing that's good? No, just, I don't know. Well, that's another question. <laughs> uh, I, Mikey should win. Um, I always look at every team, organization, you know, unit that I've worked on as a body. Mm -hmm. and Mikey's the vertebrae. Mm -hmm. He's the spine. He's like, without that, the whole thing can't stand up. It yep. falls to the ground. And Mike, that's what you are. Um, and no, he knows how no to deal with us here. all individually because we're all very different. He's got it and all. You got to deal with everybody differently. Yeah. It, it, you know, the first time well, when Mike called me, he called me from like driving from like Dallas. And he's like, yeah, man, uh, you want to meet me? So we go to this little local watering hole. Like, we hang and we having beers. And then I get in, you know, you be thinking like, okay, I got these ideas. So I see him and I say, oh, he's an idea guy. So I got some ideas. Yeah. And then after, after about 15 minutes through the conversation, I just realized, oh, no, nah, it's cool. He got all the ideas, right? He like he he was rattling stuff off. And I was like, oh, this this guy, he going to be all right. We going to be cool. And, and when you usually get the rundowns, there's been, I, I can't think of a time where you get a rundown and be like, what the hell is this? This ain't going to work. Right, like, right. Very e rarely. Even the topics that you think might not be it. Yeah. It morphs into a good show. So, yeah. like, yeah. you know, he's, he's, no he's, doubt. I think he's one of the young best goats. features is his, and this, this is what a good producer has to do. He has the ability to adapt on the fly. So, he builds a structure and a rundown and t gives everything a time every day. Um, the most frustrating shows to do are the shows where something organically happened and it's really good, better than anybody anticipated. Right. And I did a lot of these in the early days of first take. We had a producer on the show that produced by the clock instead of by the ear. Mm -hmm. And he would say, guys, we got to go. we got to go. And we would get the commercial break and all of us would look into the camera and say, what are you doing? Like, listen to what, did you not hear what was going on? we got to go. we got to go. Mike will, and we're not chasing commercial breaks here, but we've got to right. fit everything in. Yeah. But Mike will let the show accordion, uh, you know, uh, uh, yes. and, and let it stretch out if it needs to. And that's, I think that's his best. And, and most of the time, even when he's telling us to shut the F up, he goes, he still goes with it. 
nine oh, times. Yeah. Listen, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's always right. What, you know, when he's telling us that we got to go, we got to go. I can't be when I'm fired up. When I'm fired yes. up, I cannot be talked yeah, to. Yeah, I know. So, I know. You know that's a, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. But no, seriously, I appreciate that. I, uh, we love you, Mike. And by the way, we're giving, we're giving Mike Earl all the love. Steve yeah, also. Anthony and Earl and Steve, the four behind the glass, like, they all have their own role, and sometimes we make fun because that's what we do. Well, you make but fun of people that you love. That's it. That you bust um, their balls. Anthony, when he came here, he's like, I don't know what sports. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Yeah. Um, Steve and, and Anthony don't. No, know, they're, they're not, not big sports guys. No, especially Steve. Uh, Earl's a huge yeah. sports fan, but they yeah. all have their own role. They all know yeah. what they're going to do, and it's fun to watch them come in because it's just like these two big gears. They come together yeah. and they yeah. just they, they move people. the machine forward. Yeah, there are four people doing the job of it. And it's nice there. because easily yeah. when we bust each other's balls, like we know everybody can take it, and we bust Anthony's chops all the time. Because like, he can't spell. We were, we've been crushing Earl for the, <laughs> for his t- terrible take about. Donovan Mitchell versus LeBron. <laughs> right, I mean, right. That's never going to die. That's like never going to die. We've been that, that's killing coming him. up in a sec, I promise. Leroy, we're going to do Leroy's award next, yeah. which is I mean, and he just takes Oh, good. I didn't miss that one. I was afraid I missed it. Because he knows it's coming from a good place and it's all fun, and that's what we all yes. do with each other. We love all of those guys. You know? They're, they're, they're right. the, I think Mike wants stars. us to shut the Go ahead, Mike. What do you got? No, no. So we do. Jason, thank you for picking up like, you got that charity speech. This does not work without... The other guys behind here, all you guys, it is, I'm telling you, it's the most fun job I've ever had. It's awesome. Hands down. Yes. Uh, and we said a lot of really smart things on the show. We're going to get to the, we already did best take. We yeah. have the best moment. We still have the Unsung Hero Award coming up. Best argument of the year, best nickname, but this is my personal favorite. You talk about being a good producer. I learned how to do something a couple weeks ago using green screen that came in handy this morning. Oh. <laughs> this is Leroy with his worst take of the year. <laughs> Hey Cleveland, this is Leroy. I'm here to announce the winner of the Worst Take of the Year Award. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty exciting, but unfortunately, Bull's not on this list, but keep going, fella, because you're working your way towards one of these fancy awards. The other person that should be on this list, but is not, is G. Bush. I'm gonna give him a pass for this reason. Everything that's said in the barbershop stays in the barbershop, so he is not involved in this this year. The nominees are Earl for your ridiculous take on Donovan Mitchell having the best season as a Cleveland Cavalier ever. Well, the question is basically, is Donovan Mitchell having the best single season ever in Cleveland Cavaliers history? Mike says no. I'm leaning towards yes. Better than any LeBron season? I said yes. emphatically. As soon as he sent me the what? text. No. I said Absolutely yes. not. I said outside of LeBron, maybe we could have the conversation. But if you include LeBron, Absolutely what? Not. there is no People chance. People be so scared to include LeBron in these comments, man. Ain't nobody thinking about LeBron. Donovan I Mitchell having be a included. better year than LeBron? Le- Donovan Come Mitchell on. already has four single season Cavalier records. Jake Crawford with his ridiculous hot take. A Baker Mayfield is back after one good game with the Rams. Not even Carolina. Two teams later. Now, I had some people texting me last night that said he found his match. He's on his final stuff. His match is Sean McVay. We're going to base that on two drives? Well, well, no. We're, okay. Every, you know how this is a knee-jerk reaction? Yeah. We were basing that Baker was done on the little bit of football we saw him we're play basing in Carolina. Baker, well, I didn't think he was done. A lot of people but did. But we were you basing Baker on not being good enough to be a starter yes. based on two years. But after watching him last night, I was just reminded yeah. that, and now I know he can be Jekyll and Hyde, but it's in there. He, he, that he, dude can do it. And number three, Tyvis, you have claimed that Giannis or Giannis or whatever you want to call him is all ready to go in Cleveland. You calling somebody else to go. We throw this term goat out. And we in today's society they use it very loosely. But when we talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo and what he's done in his career, it's it's very evident that he is not only the best player. He will always be the best player. Now there can only be one winner. The winner is Jay Crawford, for your ridiculous comments about Baker Mayfield 
Get in the corner and think about what you've said. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to call. I want to say something. Bull yeah. said, well, this is easy. It's got to be tied yeah. this. And I said, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. It's a fan yeah. vote. It's That's a fan true. vote. But I, I actually, yours, I mean, yours was a bad take, but it's the other two are by far worse. Well, I mean, if you look at the yeah. scope of it, mine yeah. was like one game yeah, and it's, it's like, Baker Mayfield. Right. And, 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 actually, and we're talking about. The greatest basketball player of all time. So yeah. let's forget about Michael Jordan and let's forget about LeBron James. That one really I was actually, the, the worst more I think about it, Earl's take was even worse than Tyvis's. <laughs> because, because at least Tyvis, you could make the argument that he said when, Tyvis, when, when Giannis is done. So even though I don't agree that it's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, but did he say he's the GOAT now and he's always yes. going to be the GOAT? Man, I think he did. Right. And then right. they got so he was that's making true. the proclamation that that's not true. when he's done, he's the GOAT right now. And then yeah. precluding what happened in With succession. one title. He lost to the eighth seed, and then his coach got fired. <laughs> and then he had one of the nicest rants of all time where he had to cuss a guy out and say, listen, y- you can't win them every year. Yeah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. No, mm. that was, was a great one. They're all awful takes. Yeah, they were all bad. Uh, and, and we all, we almost could have had three. We could have had you know. I just think Jay's take was a traditional bad take that we all make all the time. Whereas the other two are extreme bad takes. And if you notice too, I I, I couched the whole thing by saying I, I'm I'm hearing from a lot of people last night <laughs> that, right. that were saying were which was true. Yeah. And I was watching it. I was very impressed what he yeah. did. I mean, he was in the offense two days and he yeah. he lit the place on hey, fire. Boy, you know what's sad? But the other people were pounding me with these. Text. I'm mean, notable yeah. people. But just just to just to show you how yeah. sh- how strong the internet is, and I'm undefeated on there. Did they forget the six and zero Kool Aid? No. So G Bush. Uh, <laughs> that was a horrible. Yeah. T- that, that was worse than Jay. Wait, wait, wait. So just that was just so worse you guys than mine. Know, for, I forgot. For clarity. Yeah. And then Earl, let Earl hop in here. How did that yeah, not make the cut? We put <laughs> we put five nominees on the vote for this one. It was the only one that didn't have three nominees. We only announced the three highest vote getters. Uh-huh. Okay, but you know Six what? No Kool-Aid was on there, and Bull, you saying Trey Young is the best offensive player in basketball was also on there. Well, all those are awful takes. Wow. Wow. But wow. let me say this. Wait a Bush. second. <laughs> Go ahead. In my defense, I did not say that. <laughs> those I came said, out of your mouth. <laughs> wait, what I said was I was listening to Brian Scalabrini, and he said it. Well, that's how I couch mine, too, but I took the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I took I the bullets. You got to take the darts. <laughs> I want to hear that audio. Did I, I actually you gotta, say it? You hey, to... I, you heard mine. I didn't say you, I said, I'm hearing from I'm a lot of people who are saying this guy's it. not done. I mean, you said it, and then yeah. you were like, well, I have to ask. He Let me ask amazing. you a question. Who was responsible for the most points in the NBA this year? Well, uh, that, let, let, I mean, let Earl Trey Young. In. Earl's got a, yeah, but that doesn't mean that he's the best so offensive player th- in the game. This is the first time I've seen that video back. Like, the fact that I was so serious <laughs> and had serious. <laughs> To That's double true. down. <laughs> oh, don't for, don't forget the I ain't afraid. <laughs> I ain't afraid. I was I like stunned. You had your I head tilted in there. I LeBron in that. I love her own. I didn't want to G. come Bush's down on him. G. Bush's point in this segment but, oh is, the best, is the best one that we're all missing. What's that? G. Bush could come on here right now <laughs> and say on the show, look into the camera and talk to his peeps in the chat room. <laughs> That's And true. be like, this is what we need to do. <laughs> He can say okay. the Browns are going 7 0. No. We need to right now. We need to right now reach out to Brett Favre and tell and bring him back. And the chat room will be like, yeah, we do. G Book, we I ain't never thought of that. I, I you know no 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 You said he's I sat next to you. Six and oh. Six and oh. Six and oh, fam. And then six and oh. The Kool-Aid and then Well, first it was who was the guest uh, that it was we had? Pizza carrier. He was arguing with me that there was a better than a 50% chance that I the know. Browns would go six and zero. He, he made said there was a which 45% was 45% chance, and then G doubled down. And, and it was like so that's what it was. It was yeah. like strength in numbers. You could see the mob yeah. building. And G was like, "Yeah, I was gonna be. Six I was gonna. Zero. I was gonna get t-shirts made." I had six oh, and no t-shirts, and I had to ship them to the Asian countries. Well, they started out like, on one. Yeah, they started. So there's a whole bunch of little Asian kids running around with six and all. <laughs> six and all shirts. And, 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 and Cleveland take. Indians 2016 World Series champions. <laughs> there was one take that and was too late to be in this. 97, 95. But I asked Brad yesterday who his game was modeled after, or like who his game was. <laughs> and he said Kevin Durant. So, no, he said KD mixed with wait, somebody. Wait, wait. He said, said he, 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 wait a second. With Kevin Garnett. <laughs> wait a second. You know what I have to say that? Wait a second. What happened? I, I, was I somehow missed the playoffs yesterday. What did he say? I was like, I was like Brad, like, what's your, what's your modern day he said, what's your NBA call? comp? And he's like, I'm a mix of KD and KG. <laughs> Him? Brad said that, yeah. Oh, wow. That was, he would have.
had to change his name Damn. to him. And that is the super him. KG and KD. That means, you, that, that means you that means you'd Brad went full time as much. Like like that means that means you was a, you as a defensive anchor. You could guard five positions. Kevin Durant. <laughs> Garnett Durant is one of the greatest players oh my God. of all time. God in heaven. <laughs> all right, so with that, he's, got, he, 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 he's, he's Garant. He's the two of them quick. married. Kevin one Garant. Takes a little oh. All right, guys, we got to get to this. Next award. What's our next award? This is the, and I know we lose some people in the last 20 minutes, so they got to get back to work. So we're going to do the best moment in show history. With the Quell Jackson. Oh, I DQ, think I know take this it away. One. Oh, I forgot What's about up, this guys? One. DQ here presenting the best moment of the year award for the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. The nominees hey, you see my are. You weren't here. I did Super it. Joe breaks a vase. Oh, Holy dude. shit, that's Super Joe on that rhino. <laughs> so my buddies go, my 60. <laughs> oh, shit. What did I break? <laughs> hey. Listen, Joe, Joe, listen, don't worry about it. Studio <laughs> Joe, don't worry about it. You know why? What I pray? We it's just over. added to your list of stories. <laughs> it's all replaceable, brother. Or Bernie Kosar walks on set of the very first show. Suddenly they were told, sorry, that yeah, burns off. So yeah, Bernie's, Bernie's in the building. Here. Bernie's yeah. in the building. Come on in, come on in, handsome. Come on in and have a seat. We're on the air. That's okay. Look at look at skinny Bernie. Uh, Bernie, right here, Bernie. Right here. Right here. I got the good seat. Skinny well, Bernie. He's got the hair going in the back. Bernie, look at him. Mike is right there. Yeah, throw it on your jacket. There you go. Uh, hey Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, welcome to Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. And last but not least, bull pukes on set. On set. And it worked out nicely for the Browns that actually the Steelers won the game. That, that had to kill you, didn't it? <laughs> Here comes the bar bag. <laughs> Here it so comes. Bull, Bull, yesterday, if I, and I meant to ask I need you this Friday. I need a break. Friday, I, meant, <laughs> <laughs> I meant to ask you this Friday. I'm so Get off that. <laughs> He was, he don't he like Baker really do at all. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, he he's really, off of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 he, he hurt, he hurt. I, I think, I think we're talking about a man who puts too much into football. <laughs> hey, I, He no, cares too much about no, this. Listen, it's a game. No, 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 listen, he, this is how he felt about Baker. This mm-hmm. is what happens. <laughs> That was a parable pass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a first. I've never seen this. And the winner is Bull Puking on set. Of course, this was going to win. There's there's nothing that happened this year that I remember more than Bull Puking on set and use, using that little garbage can. And I believe it was Brad sitting next to him. Everyone else thought it was funny except for Brad. But it, it's just a real, I can't unsee. Uh, man, it was such a, such a, such a, Great moments, but that one moment just stands out the most to me. It's just a reel that I can't unsee. Uh, again, shout out to you guys. Uh, miss you guys. I'll be in Cleveland soon, and hopefully we can uh, grab some bourbon that 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 oh. uh, Big Nuggets owes me. But either way, <laughs> um, have fun, guys. I hope, <clears throat> hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> Great man. to see the quell. Yeah, man, good to see you, man. It's like, oh my God. It's like a family reunion. I see some of these yeah, people we in have... a while, man. It's crazy, <laughs> man. And we still got three more, don't worry. Bull, thank you. Seriously, oh thank you. I've, I've never, 37 years, I've never, never seen, seen that. never even came close to seeing it that. It was so funny because obviously that morning was the day after the first game. Yeah. Yep. I felt like absolute trash. It, if it had been just a random day, I would have just taken off. Sure. Bill called me and was like, I, I can't come in. I feel terrible in the yeah. morning. And, and then he rallied. So he was like, I'm coming in. I cannot miss this. Yeah. I was like, this is the day. They just beat Baker. It was a crazy game. I cannot miss it. I And I drove and I got here last second and... He was like, I got to take a break. I, and all of a sudden, in the middle <laughs> of that sentence, I was like, oh, boy, I'm going to throw up. In my head, I'm saying, oh, oh man, it, look, look, it was coming. You it know was, what was great oh. was you you barely were able to reach, <laughs> reach the trash can. Oh Imagine God. the scene if, if you had, couldn't reach the. I mean, this table would have been covered with, <laughs> oh, bro. with bull's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you a question in all honesty. Yeah. I, I, this is just my – I thought um, – I was watching the end of the game, and I also was watching the post-game show. Yeah. And I, in real time, said, I'm worried about Bull. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm worried about Bull because we had joked that yeah. your biggest nightmare was yep. going to be Baker the Browns lose to oh, Baker yeah, in yeah, the opening game. It's crazy. Especially and, if it happened like that. And, and look, from behind guys, in. guys. It was a fait accompli. Oh, it was I mean, dead. it was. It should have As much as we should have won the Jets game, yeah, you we should have lost, lost that game. Yes, yes. And for a minute, you were resolved 
You, you oh, my God. To yeah. the fact that, oh, God, I got to go to work tomorrow and talk about this ass clown beating us. <laughs> and I was worried about you. I, I said, man, Bull's going to oh. stroke out right here. Because oh you, you were screaming and the veins were coming out of your neck. And it then was, when he made it, it was like, I've never seen a swing of emotions in all my years of watching sports. I've never seen someone feel like they were in the depths of despair. Yes. And then f- go from that to within a minute, we just won the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's what, and I thought, his body's going to revolt. Who knew that would be the high of the season? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It, well, it was. It really was. Wasn't yep. it, it, it was all pretty much all downhill yep. from there. It, you know, you're right. It probably was the high of the Sad season. Sad but true. So, but, so, yeah, do you guys was... want the percentage breakdown of that vote? It had to be 90%. 100. So, <laughs> it could have been. Like I said, over 800 votes in this, 723 for Bull Puke. Up <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 17 yeah. Yeah, for that's, Super that's 90%. Bays and 81 for... 90% uh, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's wow. absurd. <laughs> All right, so we have we got three more award, awards. We're yeah. going to run through these quick. In the okay. last 10 minutes, we're just going to reminisce, talk about some dream guests for year two. But uh, <coughs> this is Tim Couch with the best argument of the year. Mm. What's up, guys? Tim Couch here, and I'm presenting the Argument of the Year Award. The nominees are Jay versus Bull on analytics, Jason versus Brad on Carmelo Anthony, and Jay versus Bull on Patrick Mahomes versus Jalen Hurts in the Super Bowl. And the winner is Jay versus Bull on analytics. We have never said, oh, they're using him too much. Since Stefanski has been here. I think it's been overblown that he hasn't used Nick Chubb enough. That's not true. I, it's my opinion. I agree with you. That's not true. But there are certain times where it's a fair argument. A lot of great fights this year. Definitely the top one. I, they I didn't, I you didn't get the best clip from that. Do you, we didn't mark it down. He so. wanted to punch me in the face at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it was Steve Becker. As I, I scrubbed through like 17 oh old my. shows. And you couldn't to... find the one? The one. Yeah, because there was one where I I, I, I know Bull wanted to punch I, me in the face. No, I, I, there, there was only. Well, I mean, not, 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 not really, no, no, there was you, you only when I was angry. There was, only, dead. Dead. There there was <laughs> only one time I, they came in one show and they said, "I think we crossed the line a little bit." I don't yeah. know what it was. Yeah, there's like, yeah, we. I shouldn't have said ago, that. It was. Was, a while, it, was it the kicker debate? Because that I was can't pretty remember hot. Now. That was hot. No, it was it was an analytics, and you were arguing one version of analytics. Bull was saying it what, but it was in a random like. I don't remember what week it was. Yeah, there was only in the, carries in the times. year we've done this show. It's hard to find it. Usually, when I get into an argument, I'm heated in the moment, and then I'm fine. After. There was only one time I, that the anger lingered the entire year. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. That was probably it. But and then we, we was it the it show out. when we were all screaming at each other? Might have been. It was no, pr- no, that that one no. wasn't the main one because. No one could get a word in there. That was the yeah. worst show we did. That, that was, was the we worst show we did. Yeah. What, what were we arguing about? Probably I, Baker. A game. Probably a, Baker. I said yeah. something right before we went live, and then we oh, said, we're going to no, take it to the you show. You said something about, uh, would you redo the Watson trade? Would you still go up? Oh, yeah, 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 people in that day, and it just turned into it was, it was crazy. Crazy. Whatever. Anyway, but it was Brad enough. had a good one once. Once? Once. He got one every day. (laughs) One that I really remember. (laughs) Where he, you know, he he went to the old fashioned, you know, how how many teams did you play for or something? And I'm like, Dad, I never liked that. Yeah. You know, everybody's gonna get pissed off every once in a while, but most of the arguments we have are are over when they're over. Yeah, they are. I I've held no grudges. You know, I mean I've been mad in the moment, but we got two more words to fly through. Next is Aditi with the nickname of the year. Oh, Hey, hey, everyone. It's your long-lost friend, Aditi Kinkabwala, and I have the distinct pleasure of announcing the nickname of the year. Okay, let's get to the nominees. A, Petty La Bull, which was bestowed by G upon Bull after one of Bull's many rants. B, McNuggets for our fearless producer, Mikey McNuggets, and C, Duke of Knee Jerk, which was another one of G's brainchilds. Can we say that? Brainchilds. After G flipped one of his opinions, which he does on a regular basis. Okay, so our winner, Petty LeBull, McNuggets, or Duke of Knee Jerk? It is McNuggets. Because who else would we pick but McNuggets? McNuggets? Have wanted to do- yeah, a- yeah, ask him how he got the nickname. Yeah, for a guy uh, like Mikey McNuggets. So Mikey <laughs> McNuggets, already done. Come be a buck. That's good. 
Yeah, that's probably appropriate. I mean, they're, all three are great. Yeah. Right. But that's the one that we use all the time. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. But when you when you become petty, right? We whip out Petty the Bull, <laughs> no which time. I love. <laughs> and when you start, you know, six and zero, oh, he calls himself <laughs> the Duke of Egypt. Hey, listen, that it, 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 see, it's, it's all a thing. See, I'm Teflon at this point. I mean, I tell, I say bad takes all the time. So now you can't call me out for the bad takes, right? <laughs> Yeah, so, they don't. Oh, yeah, and and, and oh, yeah, you, you are still on because your bad takes never stick. Yeah, yeah you're right. They, they, they don't. They, don't, they wipe six down. and O, oh, fam. Wipe, wipe down. It just never happened. <laughs> and, and, and that wasn't even that. How many votes did that get? Which one? <laughs> the six, six and O oh. worst take. Oh, hold on. Not, not a lot. One. And if, and if I not get one thing wrong, I will hear about it for six and a half years. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If I get one thing wrong. <laughs> One thing wrong. I hear about it for six and a half you years. You know why? You can say six and oh, nobody gives a damn. Thing. It's because you're never wrong. <laughs> so hey. when you are, it's a monumental hey, deal. Re- hey, remember my totals for how many yards the Browns will have? Remember David and Joku who was on <laughs> yeah. I said, man, the Browns are going to score 65 points yeah, a game. Yeah. How many, how many touchdowns did Joku? Oh, I got the Joku for 15. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you know, he had everybody over there. Everybody, everybody had, had like double digit touchdowns. Everybody. I'm like, wow, this offense is going to be electric. I need a, a Deshaun 4,800, 44 what, touchdowns this what year, we got? bro. Two more or one more? One more award. Last and award. This one, yeah. There was no wrong answer. Let me let me just say there was no wrong answer. Oh, it was our so unsung good. hero award presented by Jen. I feel like we need like Matthews. sappy music for this. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Matthews all the way out here in Los Angeles. And I am joining you all today to present the award for the unsung hero of the year. Your nominees are A, Anthony and Earl, B, Director Steve, and C, EP Steve. And the answer is A, Anthony and Earl. Congratulations, guys, and thank you for all of your amazing hard work that makes this show run so smoothly and be so amazing. And congratulations to the entire Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show team on a very successful year one. It is such a joy to be a part of it and to talk and celebrate and sometimes commiserate all things Cleveland sports. Uh, I'm looking forward to what's in the future, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Well, this is a really awkward moment to tell everybody I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved on to greener pastures. <laughs> 401k. He's dreamt about that moment. Right. Yes. By the way, you see how much they miss my spelling now. <laughs> what locks them up as the winners, and they it was a, the best choice, is that they were clumped in together instead of being separate. Right, yeah, so it was right. two that versus one. That makes them one. unsung. Yeah, right, now if it they was, didn't even get their own. It should have been the Steves versus Earl Anthony. Yeah, yeah, right. The professional That's bowler. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then you got. Mm, I don't know. That could have been, but it was really it was an unfair fight. Two yeah, against one. I, but they both deserve it. Was it was very close, by the way. Yeah, I bet. Very close across the board. I bet. It's because they uh, they're all unsung heroes. You know, they're <laughs> off camera, they do their thing, they make it easy for us. But I still I love that picture of Anthony every time I see it. Right. Did you guys see the one of EP Steve? Yeah, where'd we get that? That, that was again. like it's lifted the from only a show. Picture on Google that exists of director or Really? Steve. You, you really scrub Google like that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, there was one there was one that actually had his head cut off. It was like a a, a LinkedIn picture, you know, how it cuts <laughs> off. So I didn't want to use him with mm. no head. So Pause. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, G. Well, great. Hey, guys. So, for the folks out there who don't know this, uh, I barely know it because I've only been working at TV for a year. But I, I know enough to know that putting together all these awards is a lot of work. Oh, oh my God. It is a ton of work. It, it It's a bunch of couple of minute videos, and it seems like, well, what's the big deal if you don't? But if you know, you know, and we know that these guys did a lot of work to get there. Because together. how, how I'm looking for clips. So kudos yeah. to all of them. How, 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 well just, done, to, guys. just to give them a volume, how many actual videos do you guys have on on YouTube? Anthony says we have 700 pages worth of content. And uh, an average of how many per In page? One year. Like a dozen? Uh, Crazy. 30 on a page. That's 2,100. 2,100 videos? That's insane. That sounds crazy. I don't know. That's right. That's no 700 times 30 is it's like 21,000. 21,000. Yeah, you put an extra zero on 1,900 videos. 1,900. 19,000 so videos? No, no, 100. 100. 1900. Oh, so Damn, 700 times 
three well, 700 is 2100. Three would yeah. be 2100. Yeah. So, so to, be, right, well, to put it in perspective, he's not known for his math. Or, or, or his videos. That's what we have. <laughs> it's 365 days in a year. If you did one video a year, that's three like a day. A, yeah. a day. Like that's crazy. They did 1,900 and they put multiple ones up yep. every time. So like yeah, that's man, crazy. that's that's a great job out of you guys, We're on man. The verge of our seven million. Seven, seven million views. Man. Seven. Thank you to all of you over this year that have got us to almost seven million. We views need to get. We need to give a prize to yeah, the yeah, seven yeah. millionth viewer. Exactly. Yeah. Guys, anybody, got, anybody got some final thoughts for today? I do want to ask you guys. All yeah, we do a guest two wish I list. I do want to get yeah a oh, yeah. year two rather. guest for year two. I mean, you have our guest booker sitting right to your guys left or directly. Uh, dream uh, guest. I want to go first uh, because I think um, I think this is a possibility that it happens. Albert Bell. We took Albert. mine. And all eyes turn to you. <laughs> Are you trying to get Albert Bell on us? He's I texted you guys and told you he was gonna come on. Somehow, um, I somehow missed that. Yeah. Yeah. I so mean, now here's the here's the yeah. caveat. Jason is in the process now of putting the piece together. Yeah. And Albert is interested in what this is like. He's already reached yeah. out to Jace. I hope I'm not speaking out of turn no. here. And I texted with him yesterday. So Take, if he the loves the piece, I bet he comes on. If he wants to kill you, you won't be the first person, <laughs> but he probably won't come on. Probably not. Right, 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 so yeah. it's all on my shoulders. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Well, we, we, that would be uh, magnificent. It would be incredible. Time. It would be incredible. Yeah. He's got a lot to say, and he does not care. Like, yes. he'll, he'll, he'll say I mean, those are the best guests. That's, um, they don't he he has an axe, and he doesn't have a filter. <laughs> yes. And that equals good television. Yes. So I um, love it, man. I, after my so own I heart. stole yours. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it, uh, I mean, dream guest. Let's get LeBron on, but I don't think that's happening. Well, I mean, and Jason, all eyes you turn again, to you again. Buddy. Well, he's not my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Could you get Bronny James on? No, uh, yeah, no, no, probably not. Yeah, if, if, if you went to Ohio State, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a shot to my heart. Oh, look, look, oh yeah. Joe could what, get him. He said Varden could. Yeah, Varden like, could. Uh, Joe could get him. If uh, you can't. I still want, I still, I, I'm, I'm going to beat his ears up. I still want Isaiah Thomas, but I thought, hey, is there any way we could get Barack Obama on? Shoot for the stars. I doubt it. What you mean you doubt it? I mean, well, uh, he ain't doing nothing. He's a Chicago sports fan. Yeah. So you like the Cubs? So he's not a Cubs fan. He's a White Sox. Fan. Well, let's get yeah. it popping. Like, Outsider. Hey, yeah. hey, we could get him to come and talk about how terrible the White Sox is. Like, uh, yeah, like, are, can we get Obama on? I mean, I, great, I'm just but. saying, like, I, I think we have a much better chance getting Albert Bell than. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like Brock's gonna be like, what's like, it called? Like for real? Like, <laughs> yeah. can we get that? No, on? no. I, I would like, right? and I texted you guys about this yesterday because they're coming to town in four weeks. I want, unfortunately, even if they come on, they won't be able to come in studio because they're going to be in Columbus on a Friday and then here on a Saturday. But the guys from the show, Impractical Jokers, oh, are doing I love a, show. a show on stage mm. here in Cleveland in June. And I love that show. And I feel mm. like I it's would not be as a good good replacement now, for Joe. Well, because Joe's not on the yeah, show. Yeah, Joe, it's Joe not was, as good without Joe. I realize now that Joe is the Yeah, str it's still funny, it but happen. it's not as funny. It's not as good. And I guess we shouldn't say that if we want to have them on. But, yeah, uh, you're right. But I'd like to replace Joe. Years, so. yeah. I mean, come on, let's go get me on there. Uh, thank, go ahead. So Bill's really got quick. an ulterior motive. Yes, yes. Hey, yes. I've got your replacement it's for Joe. It's not happening because I'm sure every eight seconds they have people telling them they want to be the replacement. You're right. Go ahead. We got two Super Chats to read to end the show here. Whenever we bring you internet comments, it's brought to us by PCC Air Force. If you're looking for a job with career advancement and great benefits, well, PCC Air Foils is a leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio. All locations yeah. of PCC Air Foils in East Lake Men or Wycliffe and Minerva are hiring for all positions starting at $18 and up, plus full benefit packages, paid time off, and a signing bonus. You can apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn more. We have three here. Uh, I don't know who the first one is from. I don't see a name, but he or she said, my birthday is today. Happy birthday to whoever you are. I'm from East Cleveland, but I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and watch you guys every day. That came in when we were talking about all our viewers. Well, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. I don't have a name, unfortunately, oh. when it was copied. I don't right. have a name. Uh, Bob, Bi Bob Byler sent a $20 super chat and says, Jay's shoes are crack. Cool. That means, bad. I don't exactly know. That, that can be either one. That's yep. that's good. It Arthur can be crack. either one. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, Matt Colling actually said, "Where'd you get those? I need that pair." Yeah. What, what, that's, no, that that's a good thing. Now that's a new. It can term. be. I don't know. You should have sold them. You should have sold them to him. There you go, bro. Told like hey, for two million dollars. <laughs> <they're yours. laughs> they're yours. Halim also sent us a super chat. He said, I, "I hate reading stuff about myself." Thank you, Halim. Um, all the hosts are great. Mike's the reason the show is different. Uh, better than the rest. It, it's all these guys. It's not just me. I promise you it is it is a team effort. Here.